Welcome everybody, NFT Parent here with another video. I uh, have some ups and downs again in the NFT space. Got Ethereum all over the place, Bitcoin going up and down. I mean, it's kind of stabilized more than it was a few weeks ago, but still don't really know which way the space is going. But the stock markets went up a little bit the last few days before recording this. Uh, today, not as much, but the two days before were good. So we'll see if maybe it'll lift up NFTs and cryptos at any point. We're going to start out with a project and then a couple projects and do some news in between. Uh, second skin metamorphosis is what I am looking at first. So it says our vision for self-expression and digital identity in the metaverse transcend beyond fashion and discover your true self. So as far as metaverse, I know they are um, collaborating with and going to have a space, I believe, in the sandbox, which I've talked about before which I have talked about how cheap it was a few uh, videos ago, and it's up about a half ETH since I put that video out. It was about one ETH when I talked on that video. Now it's 1.5 ETH. All right, so we've got Metamorphosis, trans, uh, Transformed Identity in the Metaverse, Inspired by Nature, Transcend Beyond Luxury, Fashion, and Express Alternative Versions of Yourself. So these just caught my eye. I've seen them talked about a little bit on Twitter, but I thought these were really neat looking. And floor price 0.48, so not cheap, not super expensive. Many unique owners, which I like, 42%. Uh, 2,800 items, they have a lot of volume, only 3% listed, so it seems like a pretty tight community. Uh, but I just really think they're really neat. And then when you get on their site, which is secondskin.app, um, you can read more about them. So 6,765 will be the total collection of 3D avatars. Uh, the 3D does look cool. Uh, rendered on the blockchain, created by Atava. So inspired by a symbiotic relationship we have with our environment and intertwining nature and luxury fashion into the metaverse. It looks cool. Owning a second skin allows you to participate in a token-gated experience, access, access exclusively luxury collaboration nft drops see your second skin in virtual worlds plus there's much more to discover in the near future in the su support of their sustainability agenda a portion of the profits will be donated to a foundation chosen by you the community which i like when they leave that stuff open when they have extra money ask the people what they want to support because they're the reason you have the extra money so i really like when projects do that Talks about access to community tools, talks about the ecosystems, you'll have access to future collaborations with brands and partners, talks about giving back, like we said about uh, they want a sustainable future, they want a foundation fighting climate change. It says we have total freedom to create versions of ourselves, second skin and how we cover it, convey who we are and who we want to be, unbound by any rules. Taking inspiration from various patterns and elements that can be found in nature, our concepts were born. So what is Second Skin Metamorphosis? It's, like we said, expressing yourself. Uh, they want to, it's important how people choose to express their digital identity through their PFP and within the metaverse. So we strive to help manifest your beauty, value, and unique qualities through our NFTs. This is going to be in the metaverse, you know, these are our identities on there, are these digital PFPs, these people walking around. So, you know, you need to choose something that represents you and what you believe in. It represents a transformation for the metaverse. Meta is to metaverse and Morphus is to structural modification. Holder utility. So allow list, NFT staking they're going to have. And then, of course, the ownership uh, talks about a Tava token airdrop. This is part of the roadmap for this year, launching an NFT staking website and then uh, interop the operability with the sandbox, then exclusive world of Altava, allow list for the collaboration. So it's got a lot of stuff here. Talks about the team. Definitely get on here again. Check out. They've got the white paper here. Check out their discord. You know, see if this is something you're interested in. None of this is ever financial advice. This is just, you know, I like to give opportunities. This is just entertainment purposes only but i like to show you what's out there what's coming you're going to start seeing a lot more about metaverse i mean it's really it's so many companies and people getting into it these are going to be our identities so take a look at second skin metamorphosis and like i said just under half eth floor price on OpenSea, and see what you think so now just to show the nft space growing like i always do it says, why are alcohol brands stepping, stepping into the NFT space? So NFT offerings in the alcohol industry are flourishing. One emerging concept is the tokenization of physical bottles, paving a way for valuable authenticity and rewards gained through NFTs. 
So it says, with all rare and fine goods, NFTs help combat counterfeiting, which is very bad. Which one thing we say about, you know, people think the NFT space is all corrupt. You just have to watch what you click and don't give out personal information and th look up things. If you think something sounds shady, it probably is. So be careful. To help combat counterfeiting in luxury wine and spirits, each bottle has an NFT attached. Real-time tracking and proof of authenticity are possible. Alcohol brands can work with blockchain uh, creation solutions to prove the authenticity and provenance of their products. Marketplaces are also providing minting services. So a pioneer in this field, BlockBar, which this article is on NFT News Today, I'll have a link in the description. An NFT marketplace for fine wine and spirits that connects customers directly with alcohol companies. They've partnered with high-end brands like OFC, Remy Martin. These brands reserve limited editions for BlockBar, which mints them as NFTs and releases NFT bottle collections on its platform. And another way some of them are doing things is it gives other additional benefits such as private distillery tours, exclusive content, special discounts. So again, owning this can open up other opportunities. Uh, age your bottles first, then redeem. I thought this was very interesting. It says, for instance, it, for instance uh, this family-owned winery in Napa Valley offered nine bottles of their award-winning uh, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon uh, NF as NFTs. The winery will store the wine bottles in its inventory for up to 10 years on behalf of the NFT owners for from select countries. So that says, you know, the beverage-related NFT applications are, are not limited to tokenizing the actual bottles, but they're, through smart contracts, all alcohol companies can build a variety of creative experiences for customers. So just another large industry, very large industry, alcohol is big. Getting in using blockchain technology, looking at Web3 stuff, looking at NFTs, I mean, DeFi opportunities. This is just another thing opening up. So don't think these are going anywhere. Like I always say, just seeing articles like this, major brands like this is what's going to keep the space going. So don't give up on getting through this bear market because now we've got alcohol stepping into the NFT space. Now, this is something I don't have a lot of info on. Came across the last minute. Thought it was interesting, wanted to bring it up. Maybe you know more about it and you can reach out to me. I like this space helps each other. So we've got probably a label. It is um, verified on OpenSea. A lot of volume. It's only um, uh, 0.2 floor price, 74% unique owners, which is a lot. A partnership between Probably Nothing and Warner Records, a new type of record label aimed at redefining IP ownership in the music industry. We've done a few of these with music industry, but this is really the first traditional major label one that I've seen. It says it utilizes Web3 technology for the first time that a traditional major label joins forces with a leading NFT culture brand to build an ecosystem that enables artists to create freely using blockchain technology. And if you get on their site, it says, we believe music best comes alive when there's context, uh, people to connect and to emotionally. We see ourselves as creators that help artists rewrite the stories using the power of NFTs. They believe Web3 allows artists to create with much more freedom and connect with fans much deeper levels. So you can type in your email and subscribe. Again, Warner Records and probably nothing. You can get, they've got a little video to show. It says the internet mixtape. said record labels are dead. Crypto's a scam. New music is trash. And then they kind of talk about innovation. But get on there. Check out probably a label on Twitter. And definitely check out their website. Sign up on the your email and subscribe and see what you, you know, what they reach out to you. What information you can get. But for this being such a low price, if you're definitely into music, which I think music is great. And I think it's going to have a large place in web3 in nfts in blockchain technology this is going to be great for artists but to see a traditional major label stepping in is really cool so again just pushing the space forward so definitely check that out check out the second skin metamorphosis and check out the article about alcohol brands stepping up in the nft space i'll have all the information in the description below this video let me know what you're watching nft parent on all social medias reach out at nft parent on twitter for the quickest reply for me let me know what you're watching what you want to see and i appreciate you watching have a great day thank you bye